After creating a gaming experience that defined an entire genre, and carefully preserved its reputation by only releasing a sequel once a decade, discover what happens when Blizzard sheds every designer that matters and finally falls prey to the eventuality all video game IPs will face. Getting a watered-down mobile version that doesn't even pretend that it's not trying to grind money out of you like you're a Nephilim Rift. You guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones, phone, right? Diablo Immortal. Welcome to the future that this random guy in a red shirt warned us about. Is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? Where phones are now powerful enough to run an experience that kind of looks like Diablo 3, but they still haven't figured out the part where it sucks ass to play. As the sliver of skill and concentration that the PC franchise required is tossed aside, for sliding your greasy thumbs all over a tiny screen, auto-running to the next objective while you fall asleep on the bus, and loosely slapping your abilities around at anything that moves, in an experience that reviewers will call the best ARPG you can play on a phone, ignoring the fact that the rest of them feel about as fun as giving your grandparents an oil massage. Not that playing it on the PC is that much better, unless you're a fan of playing the cookie-clicker version of Diablo. Discover an adventure somehow more repetitive than a normal Diablo storyline, set in between the existing games when an ancient evil has yet again been awakened. You'll choose a champion from a team of the exact same guys from Diablo 3, using largely the same abilities, and meeting up with all of the same guys from the real game. As you run around really familiar set dressings, where except for the usual expansive maps, they've been streamlined into extremely bite-sized chunks. As you quest to find three of a thing that you'll be guided to immediately, to fight a boss that you'll mash attack until it dies, and watch a cutscene to get shot to a new area to do the same thing over again. All of which combine to remind you that you could be playing a better version of this at all times, and make the differences feel like exactly what it is. A mundane imitation that you're supposed to no brain while taking a sh**. Take out a second mortgage to prepare for the actually terrible part of Diablo Immortal, the microtransactions. As the game gives you a solid 8-ish hours of leveling with relatively few upsells, then grinds to a halt as you run into level limits for story quests, forcing you to grind away at the same content over and over again, essentially stretching out 15 hours of actual gameplay into 30. Or of course you could just fork over some cash and make the game fun again, until you run into another gate a couple of hours later, and god forbid you get to the end game where you'll endlessly grind hoping for legendary gems that will never drop for you that you'll need to even contend in the pay-to-win PvP mode that you'll probably just stop playing once you get steamrolled by a character someone dropped a couple hundred dollars on, all accumulating to an experience that will put off even people that initially liked this house fire of a game, leaving only Saudi princes and whales that clearly need a gambling intervention to flex on the poors, or so you would think, in a system which technically you don't have to pay to play if you don't plan on doing the endgame, PvP, or basically anything else that Diablo at this point is known for. You know, I think the most nefarious thing about this whole thing is the fact that you essentially have to work for the loot box that you paid for, which at this point, you're paying less for the items and more for the pain. Honestly, just pay someone to step on your balls. You'll probably save a lot more money. So clean that phone screen and get your parents' credit card ready for a game that is a ridiculously obscene attempt at maximizing monetization at worst and a middling mobile title at best. In a bitter experience that doesn't come from a lack of technical prowess, but from watching a thing you love get processed by the same garbage content churning machine as everything else. Also, if you thought the reception for Immortal was bad, it'll be a thousand times worse if any of these systems pop up in D4. Unless they had enrolling for anime girls or topless men, then it's totally justified. Starring Sigma Grindset, Snooze Sater, Renfair Raver, Kung Fu Hustler, Leaderboard Hunter, and Actual Cancer. Diablo Shadow Legends. I mean, come on. A Diablo game without inventory management? That's sacrilege. It's like making a sneaker without child labor. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. I'm gonna propose to my girlfriend when we get back to base. I even bought flowers. I was eating those beans. It was dark. I was in my towel when the ninjas attacked. Look behind you. No, not there. In the closet. You flicked too hard, damn it.